In the heart of World War II, where chaos reigned and the fate of nations hung in the balance, there stood a formidable guardian of the seas, the Ehrlichan 20mm Mark 16 autocannon. This battle-hardened defender played a pivotal role, aiding Allied ships in their quest for victory. But as the tides turned and technology evolved at a rapid pace in the latter half of the century, the call for innovation echoed within the ranks of the United States Navy. In the late 1970s, a relentless pursuit began to find a successor, a weapon that would redefine naval dominance and unleash unprecedented power. The selected machinery was the Mark 38 25mm machine gun system, a revolutionary shipboard weapon system designed to safeguard warships from an array of surface threats with a particular focus on agile and swift adversaries. Despite being initially designed by the United States over 40 years ago in the 1980s, the Mark 38 has proven its mettle time and again over its decades of service. During its career, this model would serve as an even more imposing weapon than its predecessor. In all its variants, the machine gun system has showcased unparalleled versatility in adapting to ever-changing warfare scenarios, from small vessels to unmanned aerial vehicles. Unleash overwhelming firepower on your own enemies when you dive into War Thunder, where you'll be able to command and control more than 2,000 realistic military vehicles from the comfort of your computer. The action-packed video game is free on PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and even the previous console generation. It's also the most detailed vehicle combat game, and allows you to engage other players in furious combined arms PvP combats. Covering over a hundred years of military development, you can take control of vehicles ranging from World War I to modern combat. Each vehicle is historically modeled down to its individual components, providing you with one of the most immersive battle experiences ever. War Thunder has astonishing 4K graphics and sound effects, and you'll genuinely feel part of the war-torn environments and will marvel at the attention to detail in every single vehicle available in the game. Choose your playstyle and join millions of players in battle. Click the link in the description below to access War Thunder and receive a large free bonus pack containing exclusive items. The Beginning In the late 1970s, the United States Chief of Naval Operations recognized the need to replace the aging Ehrlichan 20mm Mark 16 autocannon, which has served as the primary naval weapon during World War II. After an extensive search for a suitable replacement, the Navy selected the recently finished Hughes Helicopters 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain gun, originally developed by the Army, as the centerpiece for their new naval weapon. Taking charge of the design and manufacturing of the mounting for the machine gun system was the Crane Division of the Naval Surface Warfare Center. Their expertise paved the way for the introduction of the Mark 38 25mm machine gun system, Mod Zero, in 1986. As the primary component of the system, the M242 Bushmaster chain gun is driven by an electric motor that powers the ammunition feeding, loading, firing, extraction, and cartridge ejection. As a whole, the Mark 38 MGS revolutionized the self-defense capabilities of any ship where it was installed, providing a low-cost, stabilized weapon system that could operate effectively in any weather condition, day and night. The machine gun system is capable of firing various types of Navy-approved ammunition, including armor-piercing discarding sabo and high-explosive incendiary rounds, with a maximum range of approximately 7,400 yards. With the system's ability to engage in many naval threats, such as high-speed maneuvering surface targets, floating mines, enemy swimmers, and even enemy personnel and lightly armored vehicles close to land, the Mark 38 MGS quickly became a versatile and formidable weapon on naval vessels. Going into battle. As warfare evolved, so did the Mark 38, and the Navy introduced the modified Mark 38 Mod 1 variant in 1988. The Mark 38 Mod 1 quickly proved its worth during the Persian Gulf War, where it saw operational use aboard warships and auxiliaries deployed in the Middle East for Operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm. The Mod 1 systems were often temporarily installed aboard vessels and rotated based on mission priorities. The silent guardian behind the scenes the Mark 38 Mod 1 empowered gunners to unleash devastating firepower with unparalleled precision. 
Between 1986 and 1992, the Navy acquired 243 Mark 38 25mm machine gun systems, demonstrating their confidence in the weapon's effectiveness. However, the evolution of the MGS did not stop there. The years to come would witness further advancements in this weapon system, responding to the ever-evolving threats of the battlefield. Mod 2 In October 2000, a devastating attack on the destroyer USS Cole took place. The guided missile destroyer was harbored in Yemen for refueling when two men on a small fiberglass boat loaded with C4 explosives detonated it next to the port side of the ship. The event claimed the lives of 17 brave American sailors and left a lasting scar on naval warfare. With this incident, attributed to Al-Qaeda and a prelude to the September 11, 2001 attacks, the U.S. Navy was confronted with the need for enhanced shipboard protection against small surface craft threats. Determined to bolster their defenses, in 2003, the Chief of Naval Operations took swift action, spearheading the development of an upgraded version of the Mark 38 system, Mod 2. For this, United Defense secured a significant $395.5 million contract, and by 2005, the Mark 38 Mod 2 began its journey from the drawing board to the decks of naval vessels worldwide. In addition to its advanced features, like remote control capability and improved man and machine interfaces, the Mark 38 Mod 2 also has an electro-optical and infrared sight, accompanied by a laser rangefinder, increasing its accuracy and effectiveness in low visibility conditions. This variant was the first to have a remote control station, or RCS, placing the gunner in a protected position within the ship. The RCS offered advanced control interfaces and heightened situational awareness enhancing the gunner's ability to effectively engage targets in a volatile environment. Initial tests of the Mod 2 showcased a remarkable three times greater probability of hit compared to its predecessors. Laser Upgrade The Mark 38 Mod 2 received an extraordinary upgrade in 2011 when two defense giants, BAE Systems and Boeing, were awarded a $2.8 million contract to develop a variant equipped with the Directed Energy System. In other words, a laser. This development transformed the Mark 38 Mod 2 into the Mark 38 Mod 2 Tactical Laser System, elevating its capabilities to a whole new level. With this addition, the weapon could now protect surface ships against a myriad of threats, from enemy boats to small drones, with the ability to engage both surface and air targets, including unmanned aerial vehicles. The inception of this laser upgrade can be traced back to an incident in April 2010, when in the Gulf of Aden, a daring pirate skiff stealthily approached USS Ashland. Despite their obvious disadvantage, the pirate crew unleashed small arms fire on the American ship. In response, the sailors of the United States Navy deployed their laser-free Mark 38, engulfing the skiff in flames and compelling the pirates to abandon their sinking craft, later to be rescued by Ashland and tried for piracy in Norfolk. The test of the laser-equipped Mark 38 Mod 2 came in late June 2011, when the Choctaw Wachee Bay near Florida's Eglin Air Force Base transformed into a theater of confrontation as mock pirate ships infiltrated the dense civilian maritime traffic. In this orchestrated exercise, the enhanced Mark 38 demonstrated its prowess with bursts of machine gun fire. Then, with a swift transition, the system unleashed its full laser power, a high-beam quality laser overwhelming the targets and achieving a resounding victory. The initial demonstrator featured a 10 kilowatt laser, but as the United States Navy expressed interest in a more potent weapon, the proposed laser was upscaled to an impressive 60 kilowatts by 2017. The future is bright. Due to the remarkable success of the Mark 38 Mod 2, the program underwent a further expansion in July 2012 to add several ship classes and to develop modifications to the machine gun system. This enhancement resulted in the creation of the Mark 38 Mod 3 with an advanced electro-optical and infrared sensor that provides 333-degree surveillance capability and three fields of view. These superior optics allow sailors to monitor the seas and respond to threats even in the most extreme low-light conditions with the benefits of low contrast, 
low light level color day camera, and an eye safe laser rangefinder. While the hat sensor system is integrated with the Mod 2 state of the art fire control system, the Mark 38 Mod 3 is unique from other naval weapons due to its surveillance system moving separately from the gun system, preventing adversaries from knowing they've been detected. The Mark 38 Mod 3 has a range of 8,202 feet and selectable rates of fire from single to up to 180 rounds a minute. Four and more. Furthermore, in 2019, the initiation of the Maritime Accelerated Acquisition Program marked the beginning of the Mod 4 variant of the Mark 38. The most significant change for this version is the incorporation of the upgraded 30mm Mark 44 Bushmaster II, replacing the 25mm M242 Bushmaster found in previous versions. Notably, the United States Coast Guard has also expressed its intent to install the Mark 38 Mod 4 on future polar security cutters, showcasing its recognition of the system's value and importance. Currently active and in service with the United States Navy, the Mark 38 Mod 4 represents, according to its makers, the pinnacle of the Mark 38 machine gun system's evolution. With these enhancements, this formidable naval weapon continues to fulfill a crucial role in safeguarding naval vessels and supporting mission objectives. In addition to its adoption by the United States, the Mark 38 Mod 4 has garnered interest and adoption by other countries, including Australia, Canada, Georgia, the Philippines, Singapore, Spain, and Ukraine. The future of the Mark 38 MGS is bright, and the weapon will continue to adapt to new threats, maintaining peace aboard the vessels of the United States Navy and beyond. Thanks for watching. Follow the link in the description below and support Dark Tech by joining the fray against other players in the immersive world of War Thunder. Ready to command more than 2,000 vehicles in many exciting scenarios? Click that link and claim all your exclusive bonuses.